Hello everyone, my name is Hector Doomhammer and welcome to another match in Mental Omega. And today I am having the pleasure to witness someone I've casted a match of before, way back in the day. Namely, Matiox. He's going to be playing against Moistened, the map is going to be called Winter and I really felt like casting this match. So much that I actually paused my laundry machine, which was running in the background, just so that I could cast this match and properly commentate on it. Because I haven't commentated on a proper match in quite a while, I believe, in terms of Mental Omega. So, Tavarish is also going to be spectating along with me. He is not present uh, in the conversation. He's just going to do his own thing. And I am the one fortunate enough to have the credits on the screen. So, we have Mr. Metiox here as my favorite, Russia. And on the opposite end, we have Moistens as the Latin Confederation. Now, of course, this map being the one it is, you have your airfields in the back, in the corner. And I do believe an oil derrick or two in the middle for each player. The patch of gems to be contested. You see your dogs getting scouting going on and going to chase each other's tails. Moisten's going to capture his oil derricks. Metiox capturing his oil derrick and apparently also going for his airfield accompanied by the conscript just to get that extra safety. Seems that um, Moistent already has his airfield so he's gonna get some uh, Paradox uh, reinforcement. There you go. It's been a while since I last did this so um, <clears throat> yeah I've, uh, I've actually had my PC, the recording PC, turned off for over a week I think. Just too busy, too tired with work. So, yeah, it's just not really too uh, much energy to cast or record or play. Lots of tier 1 infantry, of course. Uh, on the end of Meteox, I see another engineer prepared to do something. Maybe try and sneak away one of the oil derricks from Meteox. Maybe not. Just taking a sip of my coffee, just like in the old days. Yeah. It's been a while since I've uh, last seen Meteox. This promises to be something good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be looking up uh, Meteox's uh, last recorded match, which was probably in the 3.0 era. So, Moistens setting up some uh, sentry guns as defenses. That guy's going to so uh, uh, serve as a bit of uh, scout, perhaps, and a little distraction. As I see this bunch of infantry, I'm going to say hi to the. Structure here. Seems that the structure is now uh, preoccupied with that structure. There you go. And the airfield is going down. Just making sure that that stays. Already have four harvesters right over there. And one, two, three, four harvesters over here as well. Looks like this was the power drop right over here. Getting shut down. Lots and lots of um, conscripts. A couple of uh, units promoted. Oh, we've got a power drop here in the end. Gonna take care of that airfield as well. Sadly, Meteox is in no position to defend it properly. So, I guess we're gonna have one power drop on each side. But of course, this, power, or this bunch of infantry still exists. Might be able to sneak around the back. Nah, that's gonna get spotted over there. But, um... Oh, a couple of dogs, a couple of rhino tanks. Is Mertiox going to keep his? Yes. Ah, oh, lucky. He's going to keep his airfield. Right, right, right. Okay, so that engineer is probably, as I mentioned, going to try and sneak away one of the oil derricks up here or down there. See that Mertiox is base crawling and down the cliff to this ore patch. And indeed, that oil derrick is going to get snuck away. Yoink, that's mine. No, no, wait. Hmm. We're trying to use this engineer to capture that airfield. Nah, nothing's gonna happen with that engineer, apparently. It seems that uh, a combination of Pyros, Conscripts, and maybe one or two Tesla Troopers was enough to get rid of all of the infantry from Meteox over there. Nice armored battalion, rhinos and tiggers versus a bunch of uh, jacks. 
but also lots of infantry. Ooh, and the test troopers are helping out tremendously. Got your pyros to uh, aid against the infantry on both sides. But it seems that there might have been enough volume, especially in those tested troopers. They were the, the... I'd say that they were the MVP in this situation. Demotruck has been spotted. Maybe, maybe not. Probably because the Jacks are giving chase. And they've stopped the chase. They might attack here from the north. Now a couple of um, third drones. That's troopers. This bunch of infantry is enough to kill. Whatever the hell that was. Demotruck is moving down. I'm going to try a sudden sneak attack. Oh, see another Demotruck parked down here. Boom time. Now I'm curious. It's gonna work. Sneak down here, over here. This is completely undefended. Another MCV. No, that's not gonna do enough damage. In the meantime, Jackson Tesla troopers are attacking the outpost over here. Or finally destroyed. Power plant destroyed. And that barely did anything. Yeah, it costs stuff to uh, lose more than 50% HP, but honestly, it's not that bad. It seems that uh, Moistens is going to set up a shop over here. Or probably here, because there's more room to deploy your con yard. I see Morales out already. There's the palace. There just isn't enough stuff for uh, Metiox to do anything. He has succeeded in killing off Morales though. That means... Indeed. What's he... Oh, he doesn't have any form of income anymore. <laughs> As a matter of... Yeah, he still has the two, one oil derrick. The other one got destroyed somehow. But uh, he's also running out of money really fast. Of course, I can see that he is building an... Oh, luckily he just got it back. And there are the first two catastrophes. One miner here is idle. I called it a harvester just a moment ago. Huh. I must be losing my touch. Miners here retreating for Meteox, dumping their loads. Get that little bit of monetary boost. And indeed, deployed down here. Another ore refinery going up for the expansion down there. Desolators inside a few catastrophes. That's the usual thing. I'm still a fan of uh, also adding Tesla Troopers and um, Pyros. Pyros is pure anti-structure, also a little bit of anti-infantry, but more so anti-structure. And there we have the new bounds. I still call them new bounds. I still hate them. I still hate using them. I still hate having them used against me. I just hate them. Couple more jacks here. And it seems that... Uh, a few of the miners are being transferred over down to the gems, or all of them have. Might not be the clever idea. Morales is back in the meantime. More new bounds. Still that heroic dog, or uh, veteran dog. There's the heroic dog. There is a little anti-air in terms of the catastrophes, of course, but not a lot. But it is enough to scare away the two new bounds. Another... Ooh, infantry power drop. And there comes a Kirov. Oh dear. This is where so stuff could go really wrong. Well, instant shelter. There you go. 
And indeed, clever. Pulling the gear off away because that would have definitely destroyed his own uh, nuclear power reactor. And there's the Iron Curtain. Yes, super weapons aren't turned on. And sadly, no naval combat. Makes me sad. <laughs> not a desolator. Oh, this is going to be annoying to deal with. So there's not a lot of anti-air. Just the noob hounds. They're actually heading down to the expansion, but there is a flak cannon over there. One miner down, and in come the catastrophes, and there go the wolfhounds. And there's nothing left. The Kirov is gonna win. Because one wolfhound is not enough to get rid of a Kirov in such a short distance. The other wolfhounds are joining in, but it seems that. It was just enough. <laughs> it was just enough. More catastrophes. I hate them. Still. And sadly, my text isn't orange, but magenta. Looks like a couple of Tesla cruisers. And, oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Sending them straight into the slaughter. Even trying to use the new, uh, new cannon almost. That is bad. The terror drone power drop got uh, cleared out. Morales is back on the field. I meant to say Drakuf instead of Nua. I couldn't remember the name. Ah, there we have him. I was wondering if uh, we would see the uh, Borotinos in this particular match. And I sp spot at least two. As you know, I do love myself a little bit of variety on the field. Three war factories up here and... Oh! Got a flame tower and a, a motor ambush right over here on the barracks. Tisco just w running right past the uh, motor ambush over there. In the meantime, stuff was going down over here, but it's getting chased away. Barracks has been destroyed. Morales, I hear shooting. And down goes Tisco. Iron Curtain! And smoke, uh, smoke bombs. This is gonna be bad. And... Yeah, that's Tovarish calling the GG, not uh, Meteox. But Meteox is now calling the GG. And it's over. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It helps out a great deal. My name is Hector Doom I thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.